WSYR TV. This is News Channel 9. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nicole Smavilla, and today is the first day for early voting. It seems everyone has the same idea. These are long lines you see in Auburn, DeWitt, and Syracuse. And at last count in Onondaga County, more than 5,000 voters cast their ballots today. That's more than half the voters from 2019. And early voting continues through next Sunday, November 1st. If you do vote early, you do not need to vote on Election Day. But remember, if you are going to the polls, everyone has to wear a mask. If you plan to vote absentee, ballot requests are due in three days. For early voting options, you can head to localsyr.com. We'll tell you where and when you can vote ahead of November 3rd. Covering coronavirus, those in Cortland County have a place to get quick results this weekend. Today and tomorrow, you can get a free rapid test at one of three places. Cortland's Junior Senior High School, Homer Intermediate School, and Marathon High School. Testing runs from 9 to 5, but you do need to make an appointment. We have the link to register as well on localsyr.com. In Onondaga County, our numbers are still high. In the past 24 hours, we saw 55 new cases, which is only down 11 from the day before. So far, we've seen 210 deaths in Onondaga County. To college football, where for three quarters, the Syracuse Orange stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the top team in the country, Clemson. In the end, though, the Tigers pulled away for a 47-21 win over SU. Clemson forced four turnovers, scoring the last 20 points of the game. The loss dropped Syracuse to 1-5. SU returns to action next Saturday at home against Wake Forest. That's a pretty entertaining game, right? For most of it anyway. We take a look here at the numbers from today here in Syracuse, and you're like, 69? It wasn't almost 70 today, John. Yeah, it was <laughs> at midnight last night. And if you had the windows open and you went to sleep last night, you were like, ah. And then you may have woken up <laughs> a little early because it got chilly early this morning. It got down to the upper 40s to around 50 by 7 a.m. or 6 or 7 a.m. And we stayed in the upper 40s all day long. All right, look here at your high pressure that is building in. Uh, late clouds, maybe a couple of sprinkles or a light shower this evening. And then we should get some clearing toward morning tomorrow and high pressure should provide some sun for our Sunday. Look here at your time cast again. There might be a few spotty light showers or sprinkles this evening, especially near and west of Syracuse. Some clearing possible late temperatures get down into the 30s. Then some sun tomorrow fades mean increasing clouds and uh, temperatures near 50 tomorrow. So a better day. Some rain showers late tomorrow night into Monday. Kind of chilly and raw stays pretty chilly and raw on Tuesday. We'll be back after the game.